Good morning, team. It's Sunday. Woo! It's also Mother's Day. So, big shout out to the mothers out there. <laughs> Whether you're a mom um, or you're, uh, we all came from moms. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, we got to celebrate this day. I have two people that I reach out on Mother's Day for my mother who's awesome and has been there for every single step of the way of my MS journey. And then my um, stepmother, I call her mama. <laughs> um, she's also been a big support. So yeah, happy Mother's Day people. Um, hopefully you're celebrating with your mom and um, reaching out to them if you can't be there. So, happy Mother's Day. Today in my little update, I wanted to talk about, you know, preparing for your neurology visit and some helpful things uh, to take with you or have prepared. So, my neurology visit is a telemedicine visit tomorrow. Um, it's after my update tomorrow, so I will do a update about my update about my neurology appointment on Tuesday. But here are the things that I'm doing to get prepped for that um, <clears throat> that um, meeting with my neurologist. So one thing I always always do is I um, work to get my thoughts down um, on paper and the way I do that because you guys know I can't really use my hands is I use my um, voice software on my computer and I talk through what I want to say so for example I'm bringing up tomorrow hey <laughs> hey uh, I've noticed that um, I'm not really going through a remitting, relapsing stage. It just seems like constant, if not going down. So I'm asking about, you know, my classification. Am I really progressing? Um, or am I secondary progressing versus relapse remitting? Um, so that's going to be a tough conversation. And then, uh, I'm also giving updates about my symptoms. So your physician might prescribe you some medications for your different symptoms. For example, I was um, prescribed Flomax, which you know about. I was prescribed Baclofen. I was prescribed um, an antidepressant. And so I have to let my neurologist, how are those things working out? Are they improving my symptoms? Are they giving me any relief? That kind of thing. So I will, I will do that. I also bring a list of all my medications. So while your neurologist might be prescribing you a ton of medications, your primary uh, care physician might also be prescribing you medications. For example, um, I have tested with high cholesterol, right? So my primary care, my primary care physician um, prescribes me um, a statin. So I take a statin too. And my neurologist may not know about it unless I bring it up. So I always, always, always keep an updated list of my medications handy. <laughs> and again, it's not something that I have in memory. It's just a listing that I have and I'll update it throughout um, throughout the year. <laughs> so I will update that list when I have an update in my medicine. Oh, sorry guys, I'm having difficulty talking today. Um, so yes, 
I will bring my questions, I will bring my medications, updates, and symptoms is another thing. So the things that I'm noticing, I am numb on my fingertips. So that's new. Um, the, the swelling thing with my feet, um, not going down. I mean, it, I've had it for a year now, but now it's not necessarily necessarily returning to normal after sleep so that's a new thing um cognition so memory really freaked me out when i couldn't do some simple stuff that i was really used to doing um and i couldn't do it on the fly uh so that was that's a new thing. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it in terms of new symptoms. Old symptoms just kind of hang around, right? So fatigue and difficulty walking, issues with my gait, soreness in my body. That might be a new symptom since I last saw her. I'm just sore a lot more these days so that <laughs> um other like symptoms that are always kind of there uh that that burning sensation i don't know if you guys have that but if somebody lightly touches you certain spots for me it's my right foot feels like it's on fire <laughs> on fire um, and that's just nerve stuff. So, uh, got that stayed. It's stayed. It's not really gone. Um, numbness, weakness, all that stuff. It's still there. <laughs> um, so yeah, this should be interesting. Tomorrow, neurology appointment. Yay. <laughs> Uh, happy Mother's Day. Have a great one. It's going to be beautiful here in Texas. Hopefully it's not going to be too hot. My folks I'm reaching out to is my mother in Seattle. Um, and my stepmom who's in North Carolina. Um, so, yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Call your moms. Check in. They love you. And if you are a mom, God love you. <laughs> Thank you for contributing to society and bringing another life into this world that will pay for my social security <laughs> uh, in the future, hopefully. Um, Thank you for raising good human beings. It's important. Um, so yeah, be well. Happy Mother's Day. Take care of yourself. Hug your loved ones, all that good stuff. We will chat tomorrow.